Greetings and salutations and welcome to my fine little map. I know there's been quite a while since I've done any kind of experiment, but today we're gonna try something really fantastic and quite cool. Now I've already set up this map a little bit and we're gonna be playing with uh, the Tech It Pack. So in the Tech It Pack you have something known as turtles, which you can program to build or mine or farm or harvest or do all kinds of things. But today we're gonna try something quite funny. Now as you can see ahead of me, there are a few turtles pre-placed and I've just kind of started experimenting a little bit with this. I'm not very, very in-depth. All I know is that these turtles have the schematic in them, a program schematic within them so that they will be moving back and forth and placing down blocks. And at the end, that will be one house. Now, if you see I'm running forward here, there are quite a few of them and they are placed on certain uh, distance from each other and hopefully this will be building a street full of these um, houses. So meanwhile, while we're going to get these guys started, uh, I'm not going to go in heavily on how to use these guys, because uh, it might be a little bit tricky to try and catch up. It's just to show you what it is, and if you then think it's cool, please leave feedback and comments in the section below, and I'll I'll go in on more detail and help you get started with this because uh, at the moment my skill level isn't 100 but if there are enough people you that really would like someone to dig into this make it easy simple to understand and get cool things going then by all means I'm more than happy to do so if I know there will be plenty of people that would like to listen hear see and get involved in doing something so all right, what we have here is the entire lane of these guys. They have been pre-fueled because they do require energy. If you have played anything or tech it, you knew, know that these, uh, pretty much anything requires energy. So they have been fueled up. I have um, put in the code that is required for it to be able to build the house. And I'm gonna just go down all this road and I'm gonna get these guys started and then I'm gonna grab stuff from my chest over there and I'm gonna build kind of like a payment something going here just to drive the time forward a little bit whilst I'm doing so and let these guys get started. So how to interact with these? Well you need the right kind of turtle, there are several kinds by the way, but you just click on one of these and they've already been preloaded with a code I believe uh, we're actually gonna have to see that because since I logged off, yes, I have downloaded a code that I've named go So I just type go and it asked me to confirm that everything is in where it needs to be Now do apologize for the wonky text uh, The Kaiko is the guy that has been Kaikaku is the guy that has done this script uh, I used his because he's the one that has a best functioning script that I've seen out there of just a simple house that works quite well. Also you get told where you should put stuff within this script. Now I did try it and unfortunately there is something wrong where it's choosing resources from the wrong box here so it places wood instead of dirt where it should be doing so but I, I, I'm not too fussed about that, it might be intentional. But the reason I'm using his is because you get to see here that in um, put into slot the listed materials so in one to three you're gonna put stone and then in slot four, you're gonna put some cobble. And then five to six, you put one type of plank, so it's gonna be walls. And then seven to eight, planks. Floor ceiling, it says here, so you can put some different for floor and ceiling. Uh, then you want uh, the logs for the corners. And it gives you the exact amount of number it would need in each stack, so it knows how much to take. But I just filled it up full with all of them. The only one trouble I have is that it wants two doors but you can only place one door per slot. So I'm not sure if that's a kind of something wrong or anyway, I, I don't know. Anyway, if you type go on this script and I will be linking to this so that you can get a hold of it yourself. Uh, Kaiko is, Kaikaku is the guy that's done the script. So all thanks and all credits go to him. But once you've done this, you type this. There are two options. You can either press escape to get back out again and just leave it be where it is and then run down and activate all of them which is what I did before I realized I should probably start recording but here you go and I'm gonna start this one and then I'm just gonna run around and get all the others going so I do that let's clear some room and off that one will go so we're gonna have to go and get these guys started so type go hit enter and off it goes 
go and off it goes so go enter and then enter again to confirm that you have all the selections you need where they are and off it goes go go so I'm trying to get this done they are not as fast as you would like them to be um, well as you would like them to be only one of these building a house is probably building the house at the same speed you would manage to build a house on your own but uh, these guys these 12 guys yeah they will probably be building the 12 houses that I have a lot faster than you'll be able to do so um, and I do even include the time it took to set this up And there we go and well, we have plenty of stuff going on here you can see they are digging and they're doing this stuff and they're going back and forth so what they're doing at the moment is they're just clearing out a flat little space to uh, make it look like yeah well the bottom area where they need to be so as I said I was gonna just build the uh, dirt path or the gravel path while we're doing so so I'm gonna have this one and I'm actually just gonna run away and do this as quickly as possible and see how far we get. It'll be interesting to see if I manage on my own to just dig out and fill this path up before the first houses are complete. Um, these turtles, I should say, they are quite useful for many things. As you can see, they're perfectly happy digging and everything and I believe you can even program them in such a way that they will pick up all the stuff they're taking on. Now unfortunately these turtles are over full. They're quite well loaded on all the materials they need. So they don't have any room to pick anything up beyond that. It might be that it is screwing something up but um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if these turtles really do pick stuff up on autopilot or if you have to put that into the programming language to tell them how to behave. Now, um, the programming language may sound terrifying to some of you. Um, so yeah, it, it, it is sort of getting used to a certain way of thinking. I don't mean that you, you like have to train to think like a robot, but you have to be using more logic when you think of something. So um, the programming language is fairly simple and it's the same thing that exists in almost all programming languages that are out there. And it's the if, then, else, and end. So it asks a question like if. And then you can ask it if something is true then do this else do that and the end bit is sort of like interrupt because if something is true like if house complete then end else continue build that's sort of how programming languages works it gives you it tests something and usually it's if it's true or if it's false it's called the boolean um, I'm not sure if it's algorithm or something, but uh, it's a boolean, and boolean is either on or off, it's zero or one, and most people may think of that as the binary language, and it's sort of true, it's, is it on, is it off, am I gonna go left or right, and it, it is where the points are where you cannot choose anything else but that. So as you can see here, they, they've gone and built a little square, so you would say if block in front, dig, go forward, dig, go forward, and then add plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one. So suddenly you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just like you count when you build one on your own. And then it says, oh, you've reached 15 blocks or something, therefore stop, turn right, dig, move forward, um, turn right, if block, dig, and then continue. So sort of like that is how the programming language does work. Right, I'm seeming to have been building this quite rapidly here. And as you can see, I'm recording at the same time as I'm doing this. Uh, my computer is fairly uh, juicy. It's definitely 
on the more upscale so it can handle these things but you see there is no lag really all these turtles are building their own stuff I can't see any turtle anyway ah, they're still in in their slots but you can see the foundation for a house has already been put into place and on I just thought I was going to show this and showcase it as sort of an experiment to see how well this works because I have a plan on using my own little uh, ticket server where I managed to start building up so I have tons of resources coming in and might as well be able to use it to build something like this like build a fantastic little village pre-plan where to put these programmed turtles out so that they they make a street like this, and as you see I'm building 12 houses all in one go, just at the same time as I'm building a little bit of a gravel dirt path, just to go straight through the village. And you can see it's moving along quite well. My gravel dirt part is sort of getting done here. And we can see how well they've been doing. Here we go. I'm almost done, I think. Just a few more. And there, that's the last one. So there you see, I built this nice little road. And you can see the turtles running around doing their thing. And they go back and forth. So if move forward, then move here, place block here, if this is correct position. And this is the most difficult thing above anything else when it comes to programming is to be able to think in these dimensions. Did, did I move that block? Did I go to that location? So you have to kind of think and get the statement for all these blocks. Now if you are a little bit more advanced in programming, something you learn in school, then you can write bigger functions that knows that this wall is going to be from that spot until the end spot, so you know that it's going to go all these steps. So instead of writing if move forward, if move forward, if move forward, if move forward, you can do like, uh, we know we are here, if that do this and 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 this. So you save a little bit of time doing so. But you can see the um, f in the same time I built this track here. And yeah, I kept on talking a little bit, but in the same time these diligent robots have been doing their stuff, and I need to properly time how to put this. It seems that I did this with just as it should be. I just wanted one in between, so that was perfect length, but these should have been two up as far as I can tell. There's this, oh hang on, maybe not, it's the, so yeah, yeah it should have been two up, so if I move that, if I had placed that two up they would have been just opposite of each other, but as I said I just tried this on just to get it going. And as you can see here the um, turtles as they have been programmed they are placing out glass blocks, they're making windows, they're making posts. Um, for some reason the script seems to be working now and taking the proper amount of dirt. Uh, last time when I tested this script it placed this end section full of wood instead. There you go. And the build speed, as you can see, I started when the moon was rising up, and now the moon is sort of coming down. And if you wonder what texture pack I'm using at the moment, it is the Suarev, Suarev fan version. I'm not sure if that's any reference to Paul Suarez Jr. that is doing a lot of um, Minecraft videos and whatnot. And he's just started his uh, Survive and Thrive series again, so that's going to be quite interesting to see. Right, let's dig out a little bit more. So, now why am I showing you this? Well, here's the thought for me. If, if you have your uh, Tech It, Feed the Beast, Computer Craft, which is the thing you need for this. Computer Craft and then just be the ability to mine for a lot of coal. I would say if you, you're going to do this, you're going to need um, 
well, the advantage would be if you have at least the big reactors and you have industrial craft, I think it is, or is it build craft? I think it's build craft that has the quarry. So you can build a reactor that you then link to a quarry and the quarry will automatically mine an area you have selected so it will just like dig down and chew straight down it will grab all the materials for you it'd be really easy for you to harvest all the materials you need for something like this now if you then can program these uh, turtles to build houses and whatnot you can as you see in no time at all build up entire villages make like a fantastic super big map make a city in no time at all as you see, the, the time I've been talking here, I haven't run out of words to say, which is kind of unusual for me. But you already seem to have the, um, the house done. And I would say it takes about 20 minutes to complete one of these houses. And as you see, it leaves, the, it's prepped and ready to build the doors. It's probably going to be ladders here, which I think it is. And uh, it's just rounding off the roof. Also, it will pause and wait, and it's something that is default done. It will pause and wait if you um, uh, happen to step in the way of this uh, turtle when it's doing its operations. Now, if you don't want to do the uh, all-out crazy um, big mods and add-ons, then I suggest you just get like computer craft. These these buggers goes on just a little bit of coal and um, they can I, I did a stack of 64 coals that I said to this one take energy from this and it has no issues building the entire house uh, it's like 5120 moves for one of these turtles that it can do on the stack of 64 coals and that means ev everything so going one two three four if it's gonna go from there to there it that is using up four energy units but if it's gonna place a block so it's gonna move forward that's one then place a block that's two three four five six seven eight so that is what you need to be uh, thinking of if you try to plan resources or be be conserving your energy resources as you have them but yeah, uh, I would suggest either use TechIt, just go to technic.net or whatever the website is, uh, download the add-on. It, it takes a little while and it, it's safe and all that. You enter your normal Minecraft password and then you have access to this. There is Hexit, there is the Attack of the B team, there is the Big Dig, there is plenty of packs and mods and add-ons that really expands this universe. And I'm playing Take It, which I think is like fantastic because you can automatically farm and get stuff sorted. You can focus on actually building big projects rather than being all the way down into the center of the earth and just trying, oh, I need four more diamonds, I need two more diamonds. Um, in terms of Take It, I'm doing this on the creative map, as you can see, it's just like a flat land all over. If you're gonna play Take It for real, I think the first and most crucial thing, beyond anything you, you should just focus on, I think is getting a hand on 11 diamonds because that's what you need to build a quarry once you have a quarry then farming is automated you don't have to worry about farming you don't have to worry about running down and meeting enemies um, fighting them off and everything and you can start focusing on building farms keeping food being alive and all that and actually focus on building so yeah it, it, it is a slow start but once you have your quarry it is just a matter of learning how to provide energy to the quarry and then be able to take all the items that the quarry is spilling out use transport pipes and put them away to chests and sort that out um, as you can see it starts to kind of round off here now yeah, it's looking quite well we haven't been at this for far too long. It's, I would say if night is 10 minutes and the uh, day is 10 minutes, then we've done this for about 15 minutes now. Unfortunately, I cannot see this on my uh, screen at the moment. Um, but here you go, it's getting close. Uh, 
Also, if you like this kind of content, if you like to see more cool ideas of what you can do, um, things to test out, uh, if you're gonna build like massive maps like this where you're gonna have plenty of houses, you don't have to worry about gathering the resources or anything like that, you, you run it on autopilot, do let me know because I'm more than happy to um, yeah, like investigate and really invest some time into doing this. And, give you guys tips and ideas for how you'll be able to best do this. And you can see this one is rounding off now I think it's just it's gonna finish off this layer and then there's one more layer it's gonna come around here gonna go down and calculate this little trench and then I'm thinking may just stop halfway go in and place one door. There, there is a little bit of a drawback to this script here is that you can't place multiple doors in the same frame. So it's just gonna place a door, the, well it's gonna go in, it's gonna build ladders so you can go to the second floor, place a door, go back out and then fill up this trench and park itself right here where it started from, where it began in the beginning. Now not all scripts are like this one but most people that have been programming this and from what I've been looking into is uh, they're doing something called lower left and then moving up to the top right corner. That means that uh, most script where you want the turtle to start from, say that I wanted it to build this square and I want it to be here but I'm not sure which way it's going to turn or start, I should be confident about placing the turtle right there and then know that it should do whatever it needs forward to the right. So if it's going to build this, it's going to go forward X amount, then turn back and continue this path. And most people use um, the ability to let the uh, the bot go back to the beginning. Now, I, I've not watched every single script there is out there, but this seemed to be sort of a nicely played and done standard on this. So I, I, I'm quite impressed by it. But we are really looking to be rounding off this. Have a look at this, guys. The houses are looking good and we've already had him place the door and here you go he's cleared up and here we have this one he's rounding off this one's placed the door wow this is going really really fast here we go there, there. Uh, let's see here are oh, they already in some are moving faster than others uh, here we go he went down full length and going back in I'm gonna go all the way to the end so we can see this because these guys are about to round off. So you see, he's coming down here, all the way down. This is his starting point, he knows that, so he's turning around, checking. Let's move forward, we're gonna go into the house. And here you go, he's gonna go up here, play some ladders. There you go. And then he's gonna go out, he's gonna place a door. He wants to place another door, but he doesn't have one, unfortunately. Then he's going to calculate what he needs to go, he goes back to the center point, he knows there's a trench here, so he's just going to fill it up with dirt, just like this one is doing. And then he's going to place the last block, and he's done. And here we go, bam, he's done. And then the program says, check out YouTube for more turtle programs by Kai Kaku. Do remember to check out that guy, I'm trying to remember to link in the description. But here you go, um, there was a lot of materials in these guys from the beginning and they've used up all of them and you have the house nicely designed you have the lights placed around where you need them to and you have a nice second floor it's a fantastic little design little bit building that you can have like this and here you go you built a tiny fantastic little street in no time at all where is the sun and I would say it took about, what, 17 minutes? So if you think you can build 12 houses like these manually, including a street like so, in about 20 minutes, then well done on you. But uh, I'd rather take my chances with these nifty little fellas and have them build for me a massive town with loads of cool houses and everything. Um, I would suggest that you learn how to program a little bit so that you can make these designs on your own and build some really cool houses for yourself. 
uh, might be worth it because you might get a little bit more cool design so we're gonna run over here and see see this and it, this is if you're really out of ideas of what to build and whatnot then uh, just go to these villages have a look at how do these buildings look like because it more than perfect to just copy how they look like and build them like so so you have the shelves the libraries chairs like so crafting table and if you know how to do it then of course by all means go ahead some of these things may be a little bit more too complex for these turtles to build that they do have one major drawback uh, and that is that they only have 60 materials that they can only hold 60 materials and most cases it's, it's even only 15 because it needs to refuel every now and then so it means it has to have a spot where it can take its fuel from but it all depends on the script and as you see the sun is setting here so I will be rounding this off let me know what you think of this content guys and if you would like for me to dig in more to this and get going with more in-depth details about um, the more advanced sections of Minecraft and what you can do. I mean, I'm hoping that this could be something for the future. Build a fantastic city with these pre-programmed things. Best of all, all I need to do with this is now refill all of these to the maximum level and add a door to the end. I just need to hit go again and off it will go. It already has the script. It has everything it needs. It's good to go. So guys, until next time, my name is Viper Bane. Like, subscribe, and leave comments and feedbacks. Peace out.